When it comes to managing money, no one can beat Warren Buffett. He is not just a billionaire, but a master of smart spending and saving. Imagine having billions, but choosing a simple life. That's Warren. He's not just about stacking up cash, he's all about managing it wisely. Buffett lives simply, saves diligently, and avoids debt like it's a hot potato. Now Warren's money wisdom isn't just for the super rich, it's for people like you and me too. Whether you've got a little or a lot, his tips can help us grow our savings. In this video, we are going to talk about Warren Buffett's top 10 best money tips for living frugally and saving more. So, let's learn and transform the way we handle our money. The first tip for living frugally and saving more is about live below your means. Buffett once said, I'm not interested in cars, and my goal is not to make people envious. Don't confuse the cost of living with the standard of living. What does this really mean? It's about not spending more than necessary and enjoying a comfortable, but not excessive, lifestyle. Living below your means is all about avoiding those extra expenses that we don't really need. This doesn't just help increase our savings, it also reduces financial stress. Buffett is a great example of this. Despite being one of the richest people in the world, he keeps his life simple. No luxurious mansions, yachts, or sports cars for him. He believes in quality of life, not in showing off with consumerism. Moving forward, let's explore his next big advice for frugal living, which is invest in yourself. Buffett famously said, the best investment you can make is in yourself. What's this about? It's the idea that putting time and effort into improving your skills and knowledge is like planting a seed that grows into a tree of opportunities. Investing in yourself is enriching your life in many ways. When you learn new things, you not only open doors to better job opportunities, but you also become more self-reliant. This means you can save money by doing things yourself instead of paying others. Think of it like this. Every new skill you learn or knowledge you gain is a tool in your toolbox. The more tools you have, the less you need to rely on others for help. That's smart spending and smart living. The next vital tip for frugal living is understand the value of money. Buffett once wisely said, price is what you pay, value is what you get. Every dollar you earn comes from hard work, time, and effort. When you spend it, you're not just handing over cash, you're exchanging a part of your life you spent earning that money. So, it's crucial to ask yourself, is what I'm buying really worth the time and effort I put in to earn this money? Understanding the value of money also means seeing beyond the immediate pleasure of a new purchase. Will this item bring lasting value or happiness? Or will it end up in a corner, forgotten and unused? Remember, every spending decision is also a decision about your priorities and values. Spend it wisely on things that truly add value to your life. This understanding is key to living frugally and saving more. Moving on to next crucial piece of advice for frugal living, don't get into debt. Buffett uses a powerful analogy. Should you find yourself in a chronically leaking boat, energy devoted to changing vessels is likely to be more productive than energy devoted to patching leaks. What does this mean in terms of managing our money? Imagine debt as a boat that's constantly leaking. No matter how much you try to patch it up, the problem remains. The real solution? Get into a better boat, one that's not leaking. In financial terms, this means avoiding debt wherever possible and focusing your efforts on becoming debt-free. Debt can often feel like a heavy weight, restricting your financial freedom and choices. So, the smarter move is to stay clear of unnecessary debts. If you already have debts, make it a priority to pay them off. Another tip for frugal living and saving more is save before you spend. Usually, we spend first and save whatever's left. But Buffett suggests the opposite. Buffett advises, don't save what is left after spending, spend what is left after saving. Before you pay bills, buy groceries, or treat yourself, set aside a portion of your income for savings. Think of it as paying yourself first. This approach does two things. First, it ensures you're consistently growing your wealth, no matter how small the amount may seem. Second, it helps prevent overspending. When you save first, you only spend what's left, which naturally helps you stick to your budget. So, adjust your financial habits to save first and spend later. 
This simple shift in your approach to handling money can have a profound impact on your financial health. The next tip is avoid credit card debt. Buffett puts it straightforwardly. If you're smart, you're going to make a lot of money without borrowing. This is particularly true when it comes to credit cards. Why are credit cards a trap? It's all about the interest rates. These rates are often high, which means you end up paying much more than you originally spent. It's like giving away your hard-earned money for free. By avoiding credit card debt, you're not just saving yourself from financial stress, you're also saving a lot of money over time. If you already have credit card debt, focus on paying it off as quickly as possible. The faster you clear this debt, the less interest you'll pay, and the more money you'll save in the long run. Be cautious with credit cards. They might seem convenient, but they can quickly lead to a cycle of debt that's hard to escape. Continuing, let's explore another of Warren Buffett's insightful tips. Buy quality items that last. Buffett encapsulates this idea with the saying, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. This isn't just about stocks. It's a principle that applies to everyday purchases. The idea is when you're buying something, think of it as an investment. Just like Buffett looks for long-term value in his investments, you should look for long-lasting value in your purchases. It might mean spending a bit more upfront, but if the item lasts longer, you actually save money over time. Constantly replacing poor quality items can be more expensive in the long run. So, the next time you're out shopping, remember this Buffett tip, choose quality over price. This way, you're not only saving money, you're also embracing a more sustainable way of living. Next key tip for saving more and living frugally is don't follow trends. Buffett once remarked, beware the investment activity that produces applause. The great moves are usually greeted by yawns. This is a philosophy for life and spending. Chasing the latest trends can lead to wasteful spending, particularly as trends come and go quickly. When you buy something that's trendy, it often has a short lifespan in terms of style. Soon, it feels outdated, and you're tempted to replace it. This cycle of constantly chasing the new can drain your wallet fast. Buffett himself exemplifies this principle. He's known for his timeless wardrobe and simple, functional cars. He doesn't spend to impress others or keep up with the latest fashions. Instead, he chooses things that are classic and lasting. So, when you're deciding what to buy, choose items that won't go out of style quickly. Classics often mean less frequent replacements and more savings in the long run. The next invaluable advice for frugal living is prioritize value over price. It's easy to get tempted by low prices, but cheap can often lead to more expenses down the line. An item with a low price tag might seem like a good deal, but if it's of poor quality and doesn't last, you'll end up spending more in replacements or repairs. Buffett's strategy is to look for real value that sweet spot where quality and price meet. Buffett succinctly puts it, whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it is marked down. Prioritizing value over price is about making informed choices. It's not just about the immediate cost, it's about considering the total value that the item brings to your life. This approach will help you spend smarter, not harder. It's a mindset that goes beyond saving a few dollars today and looks at the bigger picture of financial well-being. Another essential tip for saving more and living frugally is to save a percentage of each paycheck. Buffett's approach to wealth building isn't just about being frugal. It's also about what you do with the money you save. It's a three-step process. Earn, save, then invest. Here's the key. Make saving a habit, not an afterthought. With each paycheck you receive, set aside a fixed percentage for savings. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. Even a small percentage, saved consistently over time, can grow into a substantial nest egg. Decide on a percentage of your income that you can comfortably save. Then, as soon as you get paid, transfer that amount to your savings account. Treat it like a non-negotiable expense, just like paying rent or a utility bill. By doing this, you're ensuring that you're always paying yourself first. Over time, this disciplined approach to saving can lead to significant financial growth. And that ends up today's video on Warren Buffett's 10 best money tips for living frugally and saving more. We really hope you found these insights informative and that they've given you some new ideas on how to manage your finances. If you have any questions or would like to share your own money-saving tips, 
please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. We love hearing from you. Also, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. This way, you'll always stay updated with our daily informative videos. Your support means a lot to us, and it helps us keep bringing you valuable content. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope you can apply these tips to make the most of your money. Until next time, stay smart with your finances.